What's up, ladies and gentlemen of YouTube? Stormstriker SX9 here with another Stormstriker SX9 plays beta games. The next game we're going to be trying a beta for is called New World, which just got into public open beta for this weekend and so forth so we will be trying this game out and yeah new world is a work of super supernatural fiction about cultures from around the world hand hand ba banding together to fight for the fate of humanity And here's the uh, starting menu for the game. Let me turn the music down a little bit. Okay. Well, I need the ambient music. Whatever. Um. Okay. All right, so this is the news menu for the of the game, and this is where you can come and make your characters. I'm gonna create one now. Let's see what it looks like. I understand. stories you've heard they don't tell the whole truth the island is indeed the place of legend there's power and vast riches as well but those who've gone before you have simply vanished never heard from again i saw the horror the madness that overcame the crew it was beyond any evil the world has ever known. How I survived, I do not know. The contents of this box are not of this world. They will guide you to that one, wherever and whatever that may be. Captain, charge your course and your fate. I will say a prayer for the souls of your crew. And this is where we come to make the character we want to be. First of all, the body type. 
Male or female, of course. Ooh, that one's got a scar. Hairstyle. There's a lot of hairstyles. Can have tattoos as well. Features. Freckles. Birthmarks. Okay. Identity. I will call you. cannot change your name once you get it. Once you have the name, you're stuck with it. Of course, you get a pop-up that says, do you want to allow the game? Yes, of course, that's going to pop up. Move with W, A, S, and D. Somehow I crouched. Oh, okay. Draw your weapon with X.
come closer. Your captain needs you. There's something wrong. I'm not feeling right. That devil storm. What in the nine hells was that about? And where is my box? I need my box. Did you take it? You build rat. Something isn't right. To come so close. It's not fair. What? What's happening to me? I can't die. Not like this. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Oh, you can up you can upgrade your weapons. You can only pick one though. Oh, okay, that's cool. Auto run. Oh, that's cool. I think this game is also compatible with a controller as well, like Xbox One controller or PS4 controller or even a, a Steam controller or whatever controller you use for the PC. Yeah. I haven't tried it myself since I'm playing it with keyboard and mouse, but I'm pretty sure this game is also compatible with a controller. Probably the best one to use for this game would probably be the Xbox One controller. Or Xbox Series X controller, whatever you... It, it, it depends on what you like. But if you like keyboard... But if... 
But if you like keyboard and mouse, then go for it. Oh wow. But if you yeah, but if you like playing this with keyboard and mouse, go right ahead. There are many ways you could play this play this with. Of course this is just the beta for this game, so yeah. Investigate the watchtower. What do we got here? Oh, journal stuff. Okay. And we already got level two. Okay, here's the uh, attributes. Strength, dexterity, intelligence, focus, and constitution. And since we're going to be a melee fighter, I'm going to go with strength and constitution. Oh, what do we got here? We got the, the, bio, the biography for your characters. Attributes. Weapon mastery. Trade skill. And achievements. There's the uh, journal that shows the objectives and the documents. There's the map and the company over overview, all companies or factions. Faction alignments, territory, government, and war, other company benefits. Nope, that's in-game stuff, by the way. There's the settings and the game menu. Supply catch. Got flint arrows. Round rat sailor we have here, don't we? Still, better off than... Oh! There's one bug right there, but Being it'll get rich. fixed. I'm down here from the First Light Settlement. Wanted to assess the impact of that storm that wrecked your ship. No pun intended by that storm comment. <laughs> well, it's a pleasure to meet you. Even under such ugly circumstances. Wherever you come from, it's lost here. This is your home now. Eternum. An isle of treacherous shores and lost memory. Nothing as it was in the old world. Death itself is a different creature here. And a finicky one. You've come back to life unscathed, but your crewmates and those from other ships weren't so lucky. They'll be wandering the beach as the soulless drowned now. Right thing is to try and put them back to rest. It's better if you do it. This game looks fun, but so far I may actually get this one.
whenever it releases, of course. What do we got here? More flint. So far, the controls on this game feel comfortable, and I'm liking the combat in this game as well. It's pretty fun. wasn't a pleasant task, but it was the right thing. Helps protect the first light settlement, too. The drowned sometimes wander quite a ways. Oh, I'm sorry. Where are my manners? You're probably cold, exhausted, and half-starved after what you've been through. Don't go playing tough now. You need to learn how to survive out here. Gather some flint and wood and make yourself a skinning knife at the fire. You say skinny light? Oh, skinning knife. Anyways. Gather green wood from a nearby bush. With a skinning knife, you could do all kinds of things, like skin for leather to make your own armor and stuff.
There's a flint skinning knife. Set to active tool. Ah, let's craft one of the well, flint logging axe as well. Continue to craft. We got a flint harvesting sickle that is used to gather more plants. We have a lot of flint though. And this other one is a flint mining pick that is used to gather boulders and ore veins. And a wooden fishing pole used to gather fish from open water and fishing hotspots. Survival tools, basically. Greatly needed. But I'm pretty sure the survival tools will get stronger as you progress in the game as well. It won't always be flint. I'm pretty sure you can make s surviving tools out of the ores as well. So. And we leveled up again. Talk to Nora Lynch. There you go. You've got an eye for this, it seems. Now it's time to make yourself a little feast. Aye, these boars around here can be right vicious. But they make for a fine meal. Hunt one down, butcher it up, and cook yourself some rations. Hmm. My mouth is watering just thinking about those steaks. <laughs> Beats having hard tack any day of the week. All right. I can't go for it. And there will be an opportunity where people steal your kills and then you can't skin anything. But that comes with it being an MMO. And a survival game. But when it comes to gathering things, I make sure that I have enough of the stuff so that I have plenty that I can make and create craft. The gathering part seems fun in this game, as well as the combat. Okay. Now we're skinning a boar. We got some raw hide and some pork.
Oh, you can get herbs, herbs as well. And I believe you can make medicines from those. Cook a light ration. Come on, craft another one. Okay. Nothing beats the smell of fresh meat on an open fire, does it? <laughs> I'm starting to get right hungry myself. At any rate, now you can at least feed yourself. You'll be wanting to visit the First Light Settlement yourself soon enough. But there's more work to be done here first, after that storm. I know. Right strange, isn't it? Something in the island. This blue Azoth, you see. That's what brings us back. It doesn't always work, though. Some people have died. We're still, some come back lost or corrupted. That storm was corruption. Pure evil. Takes out any ship approaching, and any tries to leave. But this one today was the worst I've seen. Your ship was just one of many to get smashed, and we need to check each of them. It's tradition in First Light to keep record of all the shipwrecks on this shore. A memorial of sorts. Go on out, look for any legacy items you can scrounge. If there's any corruption lingering, steer clear of it. Now we gotta go search shipwrecks for records and remnants. Make sure I'm picking up plenty of this flint. Seems to be an essential thing you need if you want to make your tools. And we leveled up again. Iron carted cart cartridge.
Wrong thing to attack, whatever. Ooh, a great axe. Yeah, there's going to be a lot of journals to find in this game. A lot of reading as well. Some, most games like this will have that. And fall damage is also a thing in this game, so be careful how far you jump. Okay. Yeah, chase him. And they got aggro in this game as well. They will chase you. And we leveled up again. See me? Ah! And we leveled up again. You obviously can't gather anything or go into your inventory while you're being attacked. You will die. Not very smart. Make sure there's no enemies around you while you're basically looking through your inventory. Or leveling up. Probably safe to do that while you're in a safe zone or whatever.
Yeah, so far I am enjoying this game. Will you guys be giving this game a try? Will you be trying playing this game when it comes out fully? The game's starting to grow on me a lot while I'm playing this more and more. A good friend of mine, TimZ88, you can check him out on Twitch and YouTube. He's the one that sort of got me into trying this game out. And so far, it is fun. Yeah, so far it looks like a game that I'm going to have fun with. We'll see. And I don't think it's a good idea to be stuffing in corruption. It hurts you, apparently. against you and they're using a ship wheel as a shield interesting okay we got some leveling up to do All right. I like using the sword and shield, but I also want to try out, like, uh, two-handed weapons as well. I know they have them. I want to put a point on Great Axe since I know I picked up a Great Axe, so... Oh, you have to bring up the Mastery. That's the only way you can bring those up. Okay. Leaping Strike. Reverse Stab. Leaping strike. Oh, wow. Okay, now we have to go back and talk to her. While not being attacked by three people at once. And I took them down. What? Yes, they chase you. They will chase you down. But I am getting the I am getting the, out of here because it's time to go back and turn the quest in, and then I think that's gonna be it for this video because we we're approaching 
We just hit 51 minutes. I mean, this will be considered a long play beta video. Yeah. Oh, these will do perfect. You've done a good turn for the memory of those ships and the first light. I wish we could just head back to the settlement now, but we can't turn a blind eye to the truth. Treated wood bow. Preceding your arrival filled the skies with crimson. Corruption incarnate, I tell you. Some people claim to have the answer, but I don't believe them. Does it come from the dark part of a person's soul? From some vault of evil beneath the island? One thing I know for sure. It turns them. Oh! That one did not finish the voice acting. That's another bug. They'll probably work. They still work. I know this game is not fully finished. This is a beta, so you're going to expect some small bugs here and there. Yes, and corruption's the real threat to watch for. Any trace is a scourge to the settlement. I fear some remnant may be lingering in Tide Swallow Cave. I hate to ask a newcomer, but you handle yourself well enough. Go take a look then. Be warned though, corruption can be right dangerous. Okay, so this is where we're going to be ending the video here. Hope you guys enjoyed this beta vid beta of well, me trying out the beta for New World. Again, this will be going for this entire weekend, so make sure you try it out before it's done. But again, this when this game fully releases, you'll be able to play it then. I believe you can uh, find this game on Steam. I don't know if it's on Epic yet, but right now you can only try the demo on Steam or Beta. So yeah, if you enjoyed this video, please remember to click that like button, comment below, share with your friends, add the favorites, and click that subscribe button. Also make sure to click that notification bell so when I upload new videos, I am Stormstriker Essex9, and I will see y'all next time.